I'm George Atilakos. I'm a consultant in obstetrics and fetal medicine in University College London Hospitals, and I deal with complicated multiple pregnancies. Uh, part of the problems we face is uh, pregnancies complicated by twin twin transfusion syndrome, where the treatment involves using a, a small camera to enter the uterus and uh, coagulate the blood vessels that cause the problem with laser. The current technology uh, allows us to visualize uh, the placenta and the offending vessels, but we frequently face problems with poor visibility, uh, poor access because the current uh, fetoscopes are rigid, therefore they don't offer any flexibility to see in difficult areas of the uterus, and these problems can lead to a less than perfect result for the treatment. And now Ellie is going to explain a bit more about the technical aspect of this project. I'm Ellie Martin. I work in the biomedical ultrasound group in the um, medical physics and bioengineering department at UCL. In this project we aim to develop a fibre optic sensor with a fabri Perot etalon detector at the end for sensing the ultrasound. These type of sensors have much higher sensitivity and lower noise thresholds than traditional piezoelectric ultrasound sensors, so are well suited to this kind of application. The fabri Perot etalon is formed from two mirrors separated by a small spacer. The thickness of the spacer is modulated by the acoustic field and this affects the reflected optical power, so in this way we can detect the acoustic pressure at the tip of the fibre. We can then use this ultrasound um, to form images of the blood vessels underlying the surface of the placenta. Um, in this project we aim to optimise the geometry and the construction of these type of sensors to optimise their frequency response and um, sensitivity to obtain better image quality. We aim to do this by forming a numerical model of the fibre tip and its interaction with the sound and then optimising the parameters, um, so the shape of this sensor tip um, and its construction um, using these numerical models to find the best geometry and physical parameters. The technology for these type of sensors was pioneered at UCL, so we have the world leading experts in the design, construction, optimization of these sensors here. We also have strong links with the fetal medicine unit at UCLH, so we can help to bring this technology into clinical practice. 